You know we're making uh, videos of all this, right? I bet we are. Good all right. Good morning, America. This is Dave, a.k.a. DJ Thunder 1970. My lovely wife, Angie. She doesn't have a name, but just Angie. And that is a name. Is, uh, well, no, I'm saying like a VC name, not like, you know, Elbow Sausage or whatever. Do you follow a lot of the VC mm -hmm. on... Uh, YouTube. YouTube, and I'm under Paper Cat 71. Right in my face. It's my pimples. Booker G and the MGs. Where are we? <laughs> At Papa Jazz. All right. Columbia, South Carolina. place that I used to come to as a kid, living in uh, Lawrence, South Carolina, I used to drive down here about an hour away from Lawrence. Uh, this is where I picked up a little bit of interest in classical, believe it or not, and some jazz, but right. at the time, I was picking up a lot of metal, hard rock kind of things, but I would always look over and see the other things, so let's go inside and see what this place has got. Right, let's check it out. This movie is more true than it ever was. I mean, <laughs> Citizens on Patrol. Citizens on Patrol. <laughs> what? The wildlife? <laughs> oh, you got Pac Man fever? That's right. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> that one. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Still grabbing? Still going. All right. Three more crates. All right, Dave, so uh, here you go. I've got a lamp here, so can I make a little puppet hands? No. Yeah, just so people can see a little better. So this is what I picked up. Um, I don't know anything about this Fleetwood Mac album. Um, you yeah, know, three bucks, okay. Uh, Tamita, Planets, so uh, Tamita, Tamata, sure. Uh, <laughs> Segovia, playing Bach, so Segovia is a great guitarist, obviously. A lot of this stuff was a, was a buck, by the way, so. Okay, Herbie Mann, Monday Night at the Village Gate, great. I don't know what Dirty Dog is, but it was on Verve and Kai Wind Winding. Sure, why not? French Festival. These guys look like they know what they're doing. <laughs> it's like in the late seventies, but I think it's probably kind of big bandy, and you know, they just they look professional. Blood Rock too. Always see it. Always wanted it. Same thing with uh, Toys in the Attic. Uh, That's a great album. I I just really wanted um, Whiter Shade of Pale on some kind of vinyl, so I grabbed it. Uh, you know me and Command Records, so pertinent. Pertinent percussions, cha-chas, Enoch Light, you beautiful. Jeff Beck and the Jan Hammer gr Group, wow. live. So, uh, Gatto Barbieri, and uh, perfect condition of Heartbeat City. June's got rhythm. She's got more than rhythm. She's got a All right. Kenny Rogers, uh, first edition. So, you know, just dropped in to see what can do. Alone, Rod McEwen. You know why you're alone, that beard. All right. Next. What? Nancy Sinatra again? You got it. All right, Lee Hazelwood. And uh, Doc Severson, so again, command. Beautiful. I don't know what this is, but it was on Adco, and that's probably a good guess that it's good rock. So, uh, Mabel Mercer and Bobby Short at Town Hall. So I guess these are standards. Beautiful gatefold, and for a buck, double album. 
Uh, Night in the Ruts is a stupid um, play on words. It's supposed to be right in the... Uh, yeah, it's a stupid joke. Uh, Errol Gardner. <laughs> like, I need another Errol Gardner album, but uh, I, like I pointed out to you yeah. before, uh, uh, he moans constantly when he plays. I and <laughs> I, I gave you one. Right. I forced you to take it. Grand Funk, uh, it's a little beat up for a buck. I'm never going to see this. That's and for cool. a buck, yeah, I'll grab it. Look at that. So Jay and Kai, beautiful on the original Columbia. That's going to be awesome. Uh, all, all the stuff's in great condition. Uh, first Black Line record, so this is jazz. And um, you know, look at that guy. He is rocking. Well, he's not. He's jazzing out. He's not rocking out. Keith Jarrett, are you kidding me on ECM? Hmm, ECM Polydor, weird. So uh, great uh, jazz. Jonah Jones, I love Jonah, so... Muted jazz. Um, more Keith Jarrett. More Keith Jarrett. Jazz from the North Coast with the Bob Davis quint, uh, Quartet. Is that for records? I don't know. Again, a buck. So, you know, this Papa Jazz dollar. Yeah. Coleman Hawkins. Are you kidding me? On Jazz Tone. And just look at that. 50s, 60s, you know, trippy record. Kate and Anna uh, Garrickle's self-titled album is a fantastic record. I don't think this is going to be as good, but uh, for a buck, I had to take a chance. Uh, Harvey Mandel, three bucks. This cover is jacked up, but I never see Harvey Mandel. And, you know, you don't play the record covers. Isn't that right, Doc? That's right. Tyree Glenn, Roulette. Uh, you know, Roulette's rare for me. I never see it. So uh, this should be just great jazz. Um, Impulse, Love Impulse. Beautiful gatefold. This one was a little pricey, so five bucks. Uh, with Johnny Hodges, you know, uh, I imagine this is an original. Look at that cover. <laughs> On, Deca. On Deca. So again, three bucks. Uh, uh, Billy Bean and Johnny Pisano guitar duet. So this is jazz guitar, yeah. um, mono, beautiful. And high, high, great. Uh, again, five bucks for this. Uh, Herbie Mann's African Suite um, on UA. Uh, another great find for only five bucks. Dave Rubeck uh, Quartet, Dave Diggs Disney. This one's a little messed up, but for three bucks, um, it's Dave Brubeck playing nothing but Disney songs. Right. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks is something that my um, film teacher always wanted me to listen to, so for a buck. Uh, import, it's uh, got to be glued, but uh, look at that. Uh, the World of John Mayle. So uh, nice blues. we got Joan Baez 2. Some of these are backwards, so I've got volume one, as a matter of fact. Wow. So now I got volume two, and right. she is pretty. Yeah. I know what she looks like. She's not, <laughs> but that's a pretty picture. Uh, I don't know why I grabbed Peter Paul and Mary. I, I think it's because this album I think is different than our normal albums. Now seventeen hundred refers to the catalog number, but for a buck, great. I've always wanted uh, Lamb Dies Down on Broadway, um, so I grabbed it. It was a buck, and uh, look at that, huh? So Blue Note, yep. right? This is just a great cover and three bucks. This place is, this place is out of sight, dude. Look at that. Look at those dudes. Man, this guy looks like a guy I used to work with. I just, when we were in the car with uh, Blake, we were talking about Edgar Varez and how I felt bad that I sold uh, a vinyl copy that I had uh, when I got the CD, and then he found this for me for five bucks, and this is uh, amazing. Um, it's not avant-garde, classical, or new. It's just, it's different. Chico Hamilton, are you kidding me? Look at this. That dude. Look at that on Pacific Jazz. So more jazz, three bucks. Archie Shep, five bucks. Uh, it's ABC Impulse, so it's a repress, but uh, you know, I don't care. That is awesome. I'm, you know, And what? Kenny Burrell and Herbie Hancock on Verve? This is going to be out of sight jazz. That one is, uh, looks like it's 65. Wait a minute, we're not done. What? Wait, there's more. What? We're going to keep going. Impulse Records, three record set. It's a sampler with Coltrane, Alice Coltrane, Pharaoh Sanders, Ornette Coleman, Sonny Rollins, Archie Shep, Charles Mingus, Eric Dolphy. What does that say? Huh? One dollar for a three record set of great jazz. Look at that. Yeah, the Paul Revere and the Raiders, one buck. Yeah, the cover's messed up. The record is perfect. I don't think I have iRobot. I don't know why I don't. I, maybe I do. I But for a buck, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to grab it anyway. Right. Best of traffic for a buck? It's yeah. Tony Bennett. I gotta be me. I, Pat Clark. So I don't think there was anything on Battle this Patula Clark. 
She said it looks like it says she does grooving, but that can't be the same song. Really? I don't know anything about the Straubs. I know that they're a good power pop band, and uh, so I grabbed it. It was a live album, um, I think, and so I'm grabbing it. <laughs> Tamita, Snowflake, Flakes of Dancing. I just there was this um, <laughs> this astronomer on PBS, and this was the opening of his <laughs> stupid show, and I I. That's the one. <laughs> I overpaid uh, three bucks because the it's it's kind of not. I love that song. I love that song too. Yeah, so I'm it's happy to look, for the look at that. It gives all the equipment that I didn't even look on the back. That is awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Runt Ampex. I assume this is uh, for a buck. This is the. Um, it's got to be the bootleg. I didn't double check. It can't be the original. Um, six ten. I can't remember the difference of the ten song or the twelve song is the bootleg, but. It's got to be a bootleg, but for a buck, it's a little messed up too, um, but again, it was a buck, so I grabbed it. Um, another Command Records, Explosive Brass Impact. I'm going to have an Explosive Bathroom Impact in a second. Uh, look at this. The best of Peter Sellers on Angel Records. This, these are bits of, of, you know, Peter Sellers bits. This has got to be great. And, you know, I, I, Sir George Martin was the guy who recorded Peter Sellers. I don't know if he produced any of this stuff, but it's possible. Philip Glass, uh, the photographer. Um, <laughs> is a big Philip Glass fan. So another new way, uh, yeah. yeah, new composer, and uh, I've got some Philip Glass stuff. I love it. So Yellow Magic Orchestra, a buck. This uh, Blake was really excited about this. He said, wow. you know, this is amazing stuff. So you got Sakamoto on this as yeah. well, yeah. and uh, again, look at that. You got all the equipment that they used part of it's in Japanese part of it's not so this was an amazing pickup for a dollar very happy so was the um, Uriah Heap Live a buck it's a two album set and it actually does have the book intact inside so I mean that is fantastic um, so that was a great pickup BB King and the Guess Who together I, this was one of my price everything was five was the most I spent on anything and so this is um, you know yeah, B.B. King and the Guess Who together. Look at this, uh, Sean, Shotgun Records. So we got Man Man Across the Water. Um, this is an original uni. It was a buck. It's in perfect condition. Sil Austin um, plays pretty for the people. What a great title, I mean, first of all. So, again, this is, uh, you know, straight up jazz, and he's doing standards, you know, Danny Boy. and You know, but still. Best of Hermits of Hermits, I, that's all I need. I mean, yeah. you don't need any more than that. Romantics for a buck, so that's yeah. really for... I'll put that on to make Marissa smile. So you got Nat Adderley, which is Cannonball's brother, on Little David Record, which is um, uh, George Carlin's label. So uh, that's a great pickup. So is Jay and the Americans for a buck. Uh, look at this. Jerry Mulligan, who I love. Uh, Chet Baker, amazing. So this is a great concert on CTI. Volume 2, unfortunately I don't have Volume 1, but this was a buck. Great gatefold here. Uh, I don't know what this is. So you got uh, Louis Belson Thunderbird on Impulse. So again, right, drummer, jazz, Impulse, what? Of course, I'm grabbing it. Same with uh, Gary Burton, Chick Corea. Again, a little pricey, five bucks for me. This is going to be awesome. And uh, Tubular Bells, three bucks. It was the only, it's on original version. Um, I didn't have it on vinyl, so I grabbed it. And then we've got some uh, gifts from Marissa, which I'll skip over. Uh, Dave gave uh, uh, Stray Cats. Uh, <laughs> all right, and he also gave me look at this. Uh, it's a, um, a sampler from uh, Atlantic Records. So you got Coltrane, you got Herbie Mann, and Yusuf Latif. And he also gave me the CTI slash uh, AM. And you got uh, you know got to Bob Rieri, you got George Benson, Quincy Jones, you know Yobi, Herbie Mann. And you'll see my video later on. Look at that, huh? Right into our teaser trailer. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. All right, so say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.